Hi guys, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, as you know, I already started uh, one playlist uh, on top of this model context protocol that means MCP. So here uh, I already explained like what is MCP is and how MCP works, even how we can set up the MCP servers. Even I already showed you how we can implement uh, like agents application with the pub MCP. So there I told you how we can use uh, different different MCP server and what is the role of the MCP servers. Okay, how it interacts with different different tools, everything I have already explained. So nowadays, if you see over the internet, uh, people are talking about the MCP and it is like broad, broadly used Okay, whenever you are uh, creating these kinds of agents applications. And uh, what uh, big tech uh, companies are also doing uh, like OpenAI, then uh, this Perplexity AI, then this Gemini. So they are also creating different different agents uh, uh, with these kinds of MCP servers with the help of these kinds of MCP tools integrations and they are selling their product okay and uh, they are also you uh, like deploying these kinds of agents in their service as well okay with respect to their model and uh, uh, what happens actually uh, these are the agents at the end it is using some kinds of MCP server. So uh, because of that, uh, uh, see, I think you know that MCP server can be anything. So any kinds of servers are available. So some of the servers are available that will uh, uh, real time fetch the information from different different website. Okay. So that's why what is happening, guys? There are some certain companies uh, they are uh, preventing these kinds of uh, actually uh, request. So they are uh, blocking uh, your request. Okay. Whenever let's say you are creating an agents and your agents will try to let's say uh, fetch the information from their website definitely uh, that will block your request okay so uh, because of that uh, this kinds of agents uh, is not working uh, and it is not able to fetch the real time informations uh, because what is happening now these are the companies uh, are uh, creating the more complexity in their website like they're uh, adding like uh, different different captcha they're adding different different verifications layer okay uh, and uh, definitely uh, whenever you are uh, let's say launching these kinds of agents uh, it will go there and definitely because of the captcha or different kinds of authentications it will not able to access the website okay and that time uh, you will be getting uh, like bad response okay from the website so this is the issue guys uh, uh, currently uh, people are having because whatever tools uh, people are using majority of them uh, are having this kinds of issue okay because it can't access all kinds of uh, website okay so that's why guys uh, uh, in this uh, video I'm going to show you one of the amazing um, like MCP server named uh, bright data okay bright data MCP so what this bright data does guys uh, this will actually help you to interact with different different website without blocking your request okay so here you can see uh, official uh, bright data model context protocol mcp server enabling llms agents and apps to access discover and extract web data in real time this server allows mcp clients such as cloudy desktop cursor windsurf uh, windsurf okay and others to uh, seamlessly search web navigate to the web page take actions and retrieve data without getting blocked okay that means if you're using bright data mcp server you won't be getting any kinds of okay a blocked response from their website so this is one of the amazing mcp server guys i was exploring and uh, i found like it's like very useful whenever you are creating these kinds of ai agents and uh, if your intention is to like interact with all kinds of website and if you want to fetch the real-time informations definitely you can use this particular mcp server now you can ask me how we can use the mcp server guys so here they have uh, given the entire uh, let's say tutorial you can see this is the official github so guys here you can see this is the uh, syntax okay you can copy uh, to connect with this particular mcp server okay and now uh, in my uh, uh, like playlist I already talked about like how we can uh, set up the MCP server and how we can use this kinds of let's say um, Syntax, okay, how we can use this kinds of syntax in a JSON file to connect with different different MCP servers So for this you have to go through uh, the previous lecture guys Otherwise, uh, it would be a little bit difficult for you to understand this particular sessions. Okay, so make sure guys first of all try to complete uh, These are the implementation. Okay, these are the like uh, uh, concept then you can watch this particular session and if you're already familiar with then uh, no need to worry okay you can continue so here guys uh, this is the uh, like uh, connection uh, syntax we'll be using and with the help of that we'll try to connect with the bright data mcp server okay 
even they have already given like what would be the account setup process first of all visit the brightdata.com so this is the brightdata.com guys and if you search like uh, ai slash agents browser you will be able to see this particular page okay now here you can see agents browser lets you to uh, execute agentic workflows or remote browser that uh, never get blocked uh, infinitely scalable uh, headless okay or uh, headful and powered by the world's most uh, reliable proxy network okay now what you have to do guys first of all you have to create one account here uh, so just click on login okay or you can start on like uh, free trial so first of all you will be able to create one account with your gmail address okay after creating the account guys your uh, dashboard will look like that okay and initially you will be getting some credit free credit and if you want to use it for the uh, like say production grade application that time definitely you have to take the premium subscription okay so here you can see guys this is the interface now left hand side you will see the proxies and scrapping options just try to click here so it is having one uh, playground guys first of all i will uh, give you the demo with the help of playground then i will also show you how we can use their mcp server with the help of our python code okay so uh, so here you can see guys uh, first of all here what you have to do you have to uh, see let me show you the playground first of all so let's say i want to show you this uh, browser api playground so let's get started you can give the name okay uh, i'll keep the default name and see if you are taking the premium subscription you can also like enable the premium domain and all even you can also enable some advanced setting okay it is also possible now let's uh, add it here i'll click on yes now it is lot launching okay and now i'll just continue with the playground now here you can see guys this is the demo code okay now if you click here so real time you will see that it will give you the response okay real time you will see the preview and here is the console you will also able to see the output so here what will happen so it will uh, hit this website guys you can see this booking.com so guys you can see this is the website booking.com now here what will happen uh, this uh, will search this booking.com and here it will uh, search this keyword called new york okay now let me run the code now if you are using any other tool okay others mcp server that time there is a possibility they will block your request because uh, these are the website is having some uh, verification like layer you have to solve some captcha and all then you will be able to um, like uh, visit this website okay now see it has opened the booking.com now it is uh, waiting for the pop-up that means it will search that new york okay in the search button so guys you can see real time it is searching okay you can see uh, this new york has been searched here now you can see the new work okay i think it is visible you can see okay it is visible so this is the playground from here you can test uh, and if you want to run this thing with the help of code example just try to go through the code example and here you can see the code example now you can change the code uh, node.js is available python is available then c sharp uh, is also available you can also try with selenium you can also try with playwright what is playwright playwright is a uh, like tool i think i told you uh, you can perform uh, let's say web uh, operations with the help of playwright but uh, playwright can't uh, access all the website okay for this we have to use this uh, bright data okay bright data server now let me click here now see this is the python code uh, it will um, do all the operations whatever uh, things i showed you in the playground and here you have to install the play uh, uh, right okay with the pop pip3 commands okay so uh, yes guys this is the like a uh, demo of the playground now let me show you how we can uh, uh, do it with the help of this uh, python okay uh, so uh, i think i you remember here i created my own mcp server uh, with the help of mcp use uh, framework now how we can use uh, use it okay here even you can also use it with the uh, cloudy desktop uh, and you can also use it with the help of cursor ai okay it, it, it is possible now here they have given the guidance first of all here you have to do you have to get the api key and here is the url so if you open the url so it will take you here in the account settings and here is the api key guys now just try to copy the api key but before that you have to copy the uh, this particular syntax let's copy and here you have to keep it inside a json file okay so this is the previous json file guys uh, uh, so that means the project i have developed here ai agent so this is the previous json file and there you can see i was using playwright then i was using uh, this uh, airbnb then i was using this uh, duckduckgo with the help of that i was uh, connecting with my uh, different different tools okay and this is the mcp server okay i copy pasted i think remember now uh, here i have created another file called mcp underscore uh, browser underscore mcp dot json so here you have to paste that syntax okay you have copied now here you have to change something let's say first of all you have to change the api token then web unlock zones okay and this is optional uh, if you are changing it so it will be enable for the uh, remote browse uh, browser control tools okay now where you will get the api key i already told you so api key is available here Mm, here is the api key let's copy 
uh, otherwise you can also copy it from here and you can mention it here okay then you can give the web uh, unlock zone so where will get the web unlock zone so they have already given so you have to first of all visit this website in the control panel that means if i come here if i go to the proxy and scrapping so this is the zones now here you have to select the add and web unlock api this one now you can change the name so let's say i'll give four because the name i've already taken now after that i'll just try to add it okay yes hmm. now if you want to run it from the terminal this is the syntax now let me close it now here you will get the name guys just try to copy the name and I think yeah, yeah here you have to provide the name you can see MCP unlocker zone name okay that's it now you can also explore some more parameter they have already given their documentations uh, here okay so entire let's documentation they have given they have also given the visual representation demo you can also check it out okay after that what you have to do guys you have to give this file name here in the main.py so here you have to give the file name make sure here you are giving the file name okay this file name now just try to execute this agents okay how to execute i think i told you with the help of uv because i was using uv okay uv uh, package manager okay uh, i think i installed uv yeah so with the help of uv you can uh, make execute the main.py and it will start your agents okay and there you can ask again some questions let's you can ask uh, open amazon.com and search for iphone 16 okay and give me some results you will see that it will open the amazon.com and it will give you different different products okay there and in this video i already showed you how to execute the entire project first of all go through this implementation then we'll be um, uh, able to understand uh, this particular code okay the code i have written here okay entire code you will be able to understand so uh, yes guys uh, this was the uh, quick demo of this uh, uh, bright data okay now i think you got to know what is bright data exactly so uh, i found this thing uh, very useful because uh, uh, if I want to create any agents and that will interact with different different website without getting blocked okay so definitely I'll try to use this bright data so I'll uh, sh uh, share the link in the description from there you can check it out and you can try guys and let me know how uh, this particular MCB server is and uh, if you have any query guys please try to ask in the comment box I'll try to reply with that so uh, yes guys uh, this is all about uh, I hope you liked it so thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you next time